Hey guys, I've made a, uh, made some progress on a uh, planning for a light show for this year, and I'm hoping uh, that uh, yeah, I managed to get this off the ground. But I wanted to show some of the progress I've made, and hopefully uh, be able to help uh, help some people out. Been playing with uh, with X lights and with using the uh, new t uh, tab here, uh, Papagayu, and I was able to uh, to get a uh, a sequence. Uh, let me go ahead and show you this real quick. Nope. But sometimes I like to close my eyes. So that is, uh, those are individual images. I managed to get the uh, singing character uh, from Olaf uh, from Frozen. Uh, so hopefully I can go ahead and put that on a matrix uh, display and get that uh, going. And what I managed to do with that was I first started off, um, started playing around with, uh, with Papagayu. Um, got, the, uh, got all the lyrics downloaded. Uh, pop put, took the WAV file, put it into Papagayu. Uh, open the wave file in uh, Audacity, and what you can do with this is so what you can do is you can do a control B and you can actually add the uh, the text in here uh, as uh, as labels you export the labels uh, as a uh, as into a text file and it basically has all the timing parts uh, in here for you and then what you can do is you can use a uh, papa assist so you um, basically you 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 start it up uh, you get, get everything in here use the papa assist uh, give it the source file and you basically can uh, uh, can import in the uh, the timing marks in uh, so that way it'll, it'll help uh, it'll help you in Papagayu to, to be able to get the the basic timing marks in um, and then from here you can obviously do the uh, do the tweaking of this and uh, get this going nope but sometimes I like to close my eyes and imagine what it'd be like when summer does come now, as far as this is concerned, um, I mean that that that's basically the starting point. I can go ahead and use the output from this, bring it back into X lights. I can control individual strings. But if I'm going to be using a matrix display, that's where it kind of gets a little bit different. So what I did was I actually took a found a particular scene in uh, Frozen where uh, Olaf isn't really moving a whole lot, and so I was able to actually capture uh, several frames of him actually talking, and then be able to uh, recreate the uh, the facial expressions. And this is the particular part I managed to use because. Again, he's not moving too much. Uh, the only thing that was really moving around is his arm. It's right in here. Um, I wanted to use this a spot in, the, in a different part of this, but it wasn't really going to work out too much. So, see, he's moving around too much. So you really can't use these for facial expressions. But right here, he. So that like little three second little uh, slot, I was actually able to recreate, and I was able to do this. So now I use that particular section. I'm guessing you don't have much experience with heat. Nope. But sometimes I like to close my eyes and imagine what it'd be like when summer does come. <sighs> So from that, now I go ahead and export out, or just I save my, my Papagayu uh, file, come back over here into X Lights, and what I can do is I can go ahead and uh, call out my, uh, my Papagayu file, uh, select my output, uh, it's going to basically kick it out as a .xml file. Um, from here I want to say I'm going to do image faces. I already have this saved so here's all the images that I'm using. What I did was I, I took screenshots and then I brightened them up and I cropped them down so basically each image has to be uh, has to be very very uh, similar uh, in, so that way the, the, pics, the images aren't going to be moving uh, dancing all over the place. Uh, here's the ones I actually use for uh, Papagayu. As you can see they really aren't uh, really aren't moving around too much uh, except for uh, the actual character. Um, so those are the images I actually used. The Papagayu files I actually used, uh, I used uh, 225 by 175, so right around 6 kilobytes uh, per image, so that way they wouldn't be, it wouldn't be too big. Um, and so from here what I can do is I can go ahead and just go ahead and create the, uh, create the sequence. Um, it'll go ahead and kick that uh, information out to, uh, to my matrix number one. And then I can go ahead and go to so 
So here's my uh, my uh, .xml file. I can go ahead and just do a right click and do an open uh, with a Notepad. Now, when it opens up, this is the actual instructions that uh, Xlights utilizes. And one of the problems is one of the uh, the the way the the files are actually uh, are imported in for the instructions is it uses direction equals none. Well, in my particular instance, because I'm using a matrix panel display, I wanted to change this from from none to scaled. I'm going to go ahead and just replace everything in the document. And this is going to take take uh, some time because it's just your computer has to go through the entire text file and go ahead and replace this out. But what this is going to do is it's going to make it to when it imports it into uh, to X lights. Um, it's going to actually um, make it to where the it'll scale it correctly to to your actual matrix display instead of only showing a small sliver of it. So you don't have to worry about rescaling the actual image. Um, when you are actually uh, going to go ahead and bring this back in. Um, I say new musical sequence. I use the X lights X dot XML. Uh, so here's my my on my wave file from the X lights folder. I'm going to use a timing file. Hit OK, and then what I do from here is I go ahead and grab my, my XML file, and then it will go ahead and create oh, create the timing marks for me. Now I already have this already done, so um, let's go ahead and come back in here and then show you real quick again. So what it does is it actually put, brings everything in here for you with, and it also brings all the comments in for all of the uh, for all the different uh, vocals and whatnot. And so there you go. Oops. It's my eyes and imagine what it be like when summer does come. So see I'm using scales so that way it works correctly. And that should be it. So from here, I should be able to uh, save this back out and be able to kick it on to a Falcon Pie player, and uh, should be able to have a uh, an interesting little show uh, uh, running on the on a Matrix display.